Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing problems and determinants. And uh, now uh, this is a problem from miscellaneous exercise we are dealing with. So starting from question number 11, it is given uh, that uh, prove that, prove that alpha, beta, gamma, alpha square, beta square, gamma square and beta plus gamma, gamma plus alpha and alpha plus beta and that is equal to we have to prove that alpha minus beta, beta minus gamma, alpha minus gamma and alpha plus beta plus gamma, alpha plus beta plus gamma. That is the result which we have to prove. So, to solve this question, uh, we can take it as uh, if I because alpha plus beta plus gamma is required, so we can add C1 and C3. So, C3 tends to C3 plus C1 and taking thereafter taking because alpha plus beta plus gamma common from C3, common from C3 from C3. We have what will come then? If I will take common then there will be alpha plus beta plus gamma into alpha beta gamma alpha square beta square gamma square and 1 1 1 will be there. Now uh, of course you know what to do. You have to bring 0 and therefore taking a R1 tends to R1 minus R2 and R2 tends to R2 minus R3. Then what will happen? In that case, if I will write this next step, that will be alpha plus beta plus gamma and this will be alpha minus beta, beta minus gamma and gamma, alpha square minus beta square, beta square minus gamma square and gamma square, 0, 0, 1. Now we can take alpha minus beta, taking alpha minus beta and beta minus gamma, alpha minus beta and beta minus gamma uh, common from common from from R1 and R2. We have what will happen? Alpha minus beta, beta minus gamma will come then alpha plus beta plus gamma is already there. Then what will happen? 1 alpha plus beta 0 and 1 beta plus gamma 0 and gamma gamma square and 1. These are left. Now expanding along C3, what will get? On expanding along C3, expanding along C3, we have this cancel, this cancel. Beta plus gamma minus alpha plus beta. So beta beta cancel gamma minus alpha will come. It will be alpha minus beta, beta minus gamma and alpha plus beta plus gamma and uh, here it will be beta plus gamma minus alpha plus beta. So in that case beta beta cancel and gamma minus alpha left. So that is the result which uh, we need to prove. I hope you got it and uh, alpha plus beta plus gamma and gamma minus alpha that is the RHS which is going to prove. I hope you got it. Now the next question is next question is here and question number 12 this is question number 12 and this question is also similar like uh, say x y z x square y square z square and 1 plus pxq, 1 plus pyq and 1 plus pzq is equal to we have to prove 1 plus pxyz, pxyz, 1 plus pxyz, xyz into x minus y, y minus z and z minus x, x minus y, y minus z and z minus x where p is any scalar, where p is any scalar. 
this is a question. So we have learned the property of determinant that uh, if any row or column of a determinant is sum of two or more matrices, then it can be split into uh, sum of two or more determinant. So, sum of two or more elements then it can be split into two or more determinants. Uh, so we can split them into determinant one x x square and one 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 and then 1x square and pxq, pyq, pzq. So we have x, we can use this property and we can write here that x, x square, y, y square, z, z square, 1, 1, 1 and then determinant x, y, z, x square, y square, z square and this is pxq, pyq and pzq and that will be there. So here what we can write and um, that is simply one can write it like uh, x y z x square y square z square and 1 1 1 then I can take it common x from first row y from second row and third row and z from third row and p from first column as well p from first column but that cannot be done in one step only. So we can take x, y, z only in first step that is row wise and this will be x. If I would have taken x common then what is left there? That will be 1. 1 here what is left? 1. 1 x and p x square. 1 y and p y square. 1 z and p z square. Now I can take p common from the first uh, from the last column. So that will be uh, here we can interchange the position of uh, this one should come like uh, if I write here. Let interchange this. Then minus sign will come. If I write If I write interchange the position of these two, then x square, y square, z square will come and negative sign will be out. Again, if I take one more negative sign, we interchange c1 and c2, then one more negative sign will come and that will be equal to x, y and z and that will be x square, y square, z square. Now, if since p is being taken common from the last column, so that will be p x y z and what is that? So that will be 1 x y z and x square y square z square because two of them are same determinants we can take common and then what is left here 1 is left so 1 plus what is left from there p x y z p x y z P, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z will be common and what is left there? 1, 1, 1, X, Y, Z and X square, Y square, Z square. Now you know what to do. You have to proceed uh, at this level that uh, R1 tends to R1 minus R2 and R2 tends to R2 minus R3 so that it will come 0 and x minus y is a factor as well. So next step I am writing here like uh, what will come 1 plus p x y z and uh, that is here uh, 0 x minus y x square minus y square 0 y minus z y square minus z square 1 z and z square that will come. So here uh, the things will come like now you can take x minus y and y minus z as a factor. So what will happen? That will be uh, x minus y and y minus z and this factor is 1 plus p x y z and uh, it will be after taking common 0 1 and x plus y 0 1 and y plus z and 1 z and z square. 
now expanding along first column then you will have what will have that will have x minus y y minus z and 1 plus p x y z and if cancel this one this one cancel this one cancel this one cancel then y plus z minus x minus y will come so y y cancel and the finally the things will come as 1 plus x y z 1 p x y z and x minus y y minus z and z minus x that is rhs and this has to be proved okay now let us see question number uh, one more question that is question number 13 and starting from the next page what is that that is uh, 3a minus b plus a and minus c plus a and that will be minus a plus b 3b and minus c minus b minus c plus b and then what is that uh, minus a plus c and minus b plus c and 3c and that is equal to 3 times of a plus b plus c and a b plus b c plus c a that is the question so of course here 3a if I will add them then minus a minus a will be minus 2a and if it will be added with 3a will be a plus b plus c. So it is very simple to deal with this question and we can write here c1 tends to c1 plus c2 plus c3 then then first column it will be a plus b plus c. So let me write a give the lip, let me um, write uh, directly taking and taking a plus b plus c common a plus b plus c common from c1 common from c1 then what will happen if i will write it directly then there will be a plus b plus c as a common and one 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 will left and there will be left like uh, minus a plus b minus a plus c 3b minus b plus c and uh, minus c plus b and 3c like this now we have to find a b plus b c plus c a because uh, this 3 and 3 will also come but a plus b plus c has come now you have to bring maximum zeros but how it will be possible um, if i write let us write here r2 tends to r2 minus r1 tends to r1 minus r2 or r2 okay r1 tends to you can do any one of them but we can write r1 tends to r1 minus r2 and r2 tends to r2 minus r3 then what will come in that case there will be a plus b plus c and this will be a uh, r1 minus r2 that is 0 0 1 and if i subtract this uh, 3b then it will be minus a minus 2b and if i will subtract this one then that will be minus a and plus b minus a plus b if i will subtract uh, r2 minus r3 then this will be b will be cancelled and it will be 2b minus minus plus c and 3c if I will subtract then it would be minus b minus 4c isn't it and this will be minus c plus b and 3c that will come right now minus um, b and minus 3c so it will be minus 2c r2 minus r3 so that will be minus b minus plus c minus 3c that is minus 2c okay so a minus 2b and if i'll subtract this one then this will be um, 2b plus c okay now expanding along first column then what will happen see that expanding along first column no need to write it this cancel this cancel this multiply by this in that case minus of a plus 2b 
and minus of b plus 2c so b plus 2c right into b plus 2c b plus 2c and minus of minus if i take minus common then minus this product will be minus minus plus a minus b into uh, 2b plus c so that will come up a plus b plus c and this will be product a b plus 2 a c plus 2 b a square plus 4 b c minus uh, plus 2 a b plus a c minus 2 b a square minus b c so 2 b a square and 2 b a square will cancel out and what is left then a plus b plus c into a b and 2 a b become 3 a b this 2 a c and plus a c become 3 a c and 4 b c minus b c become 3 b c so if i will take 3 common out of it then a plus b plus c and that will be a b plus b c plus c a and this was RHS which is to be proved. So proved. I hope you got it. This one also. Now the next question is. Now the next question from next page again. Uh, we are going to write here that. Uh, or start from there only. Question number uh, 15 is the, 14 is there. And question number 14 is. 1, 2, 3. 1 plus p, 3 plus 2p and 6 plus 3p. Then it was 1 plus p plus q, 4 plus 3p plus 2q and 10 plus 6p plus 3q is equal to 1. That we need to prove 1 only, right? So here uh, we will see that how to deal with this question q 2q 3q so twice of this if i would subtract then uh, here 2p will also cancel here 2q will also cancel and here it will be zero and thrice of this if i subtract then here 3p is cancel and here 3q is cancel so clearly r2 tends to r2 minus twice of r1 we will write here r2 tends to r2 minus twice of r1 and r3 tends to r3 minus three times of r1 then in that case what will happen that will be one zero zero and here what will happen twice of p and thrice of p will cancel so two times if uh, three minus two that is one and uh, one here left and here three left 1 and 3 will left so that will be 1 and 3 left here and that is 1 so 1 1 3 will left isn't it 1 1 3 here if i'll subtract from it 1 plus p plus q the first row was 1 plus p plus q 1 plus p plus q and the second row will be um, two times if you subtract then this will cancel this will cancel and uh, this will be uh, 2 3 2 times if you subtract then this will be 2 plus p 2 plus p will be there 2 plus p 2 plus p and here what will happen it will be 3 times if i'll subtract then there will be 7 and that will be 3p 7 plus 3p so 7 plus 3p will left but q will cancel right now so here 1 plus p plus q that much now we can uh, again uh, go with uh, r2 tends to r2 tends to r2 minus 3 times of 3 times of r2 r3 tends to r3 minus 3 times of r2 then what will happen in that case 1 1 1 plus p plus q and uh, this is 0 1 2 plus p and 0 and 3 times of that will be 0 make 0 and 3 times of this will be 3 p will cancel and 3 to just 6 so 7 minus 6 is 1 now expanding along 
expanding along along C1 we have what if I'll expand along C1 then it will be this cancel this cancel 1 multiply by 1 is 1 minus 0 so it will be 1 RHS right I hope you got it now the next question is let us see the next question and the next question is a 15th question that is question number 15 and 15 question was sin alpha sin alpha cos alpha cos alpha plus delta sin alpha cos alpha cos alpha plus delta sin beta cos beta and cos beta plus delta delta now sin gamma cos gamma and cos gamma plus delta and this is what and the three things that is given here and you have to prove that the result will be the result will be let us write here result will be hmm. okay so we can write here the result was zero so how to deal with this situation anybody can think over this question that how this will come zero think about this how to formulate the question this one watch if i am writing cos alpha plus delta it means this is cos alpha cos delta minus sin alpha sin delta isn't it cos alpha is there and if i write here cos delta right here sin alpha sin delta so if c3 i am writing c3 is equal to c3 minus right now cos alpha plus delta minus cos alpha minus cos delta right now if i write here then that will be minus cos alpha minus cos delta so c2 cos delta plus this will be this side plus so sin alpha sin delta c1 sin delta then the rhs will be zero and similarly all the terms in uh, column 3 will be zero isn't it so column 3 will be zero sin alpha here sin alpha sin beta sin gamma cos alpha cos beta and cos gamma and that will be 0 0 0 and hence answer is 0 because any column of determinant is 0 then value of determinant will be 0 i hope you got it okay since if any column of determinant has all elements 0 all elements 0 then the value of determinant is 0 value of determinant is 0 I hope you got it okay now the next question uh, next few questions are left and i am going to discuss question number 16 and this is question number 16 and what to do in this question and that i am going to discuss here 16 and in this question it is given that solve the system of equation the system of equations what is that 2 by x plus 3 by y plus 10 by z is equal to 4 4 by x minus 6 by y plus 5 by z is equal to 1 and 6 by x plus 9 by y minus 20 by z is equal to 2 so this can be solved by matrix method as well as determine Kramer rule as well but uh, 
because we are dealing with matrices so we will take on matrix method only so let me write here solution solution put 1 by x is equal to p 1 by y is equal to q and 1 by z is equal to r then this will reduce in terms of linear equation then system of equation equation will reduces to will reduce to reduce to what will reduce then system of equation will reduce to 2x 2p plus 3q plus 10r is equal to 4 and 4p minus 6q plus 5r is equal to 1 5r is equal to 1 and 6p plus 9q minus 20r is equal to 2 these are the three system of equations that can be taken as 1 to 3 now we can proceed from matrix method this system can be written as this system can be written as can be written as as ax is equal to b where a is equal to what a is equal to 2 4 6 3 minus 6 9 and 10 5 and minus 20 and x is equal to x y z and b is equal to 4 1 2 this is what given now first of all we will find the determinant of it. so determinant of a is 2 times of this cancel this cancel that is 120 minus 9 5 yeah, 45 minus 3 times of this cancel and this cancel that what will happen cancel then 24 here yeah, minus 80 minus 30 and plus 10 times of this cancel and this cancel then 9 4 yeah, 36 minus minus 36 that is 72 so this will be 2 into 75 75 into 2 is 150 80 plus 30 is 110 multiply by 3 is plus 330 and say plus 720 this will come and that will be 30 plus 20 50 plus 50 100 so 2 0 will be there and 7 plus 1 8 and 3 11 and 1 12 1200 and that will come so determinant of a is 1200 and therefore which is not equal to 0 and therefore system has unique solution and therefore the system is consistent is consistent and has unique solution unique solution right that is given by ax is equal to b if you multiply by a inverse both the sides then what will happen this and therefore x is equal to a inverse b that is it fourth equation now we can find uh, a inverse so for a inverse the adjoint will come that is 75 and 110 and 72 cofactor of first column will be adjoint of a will be 75 110 and 72 first row cofactors are like this and uh, 110 and 72 so second row cofactors will be what this cancel this cancel so 20 into 3 minus 60 minus 90 minus 150 so that will be plus 150 so i can write here 150 because sign will change now the second row second column this and this cancels 22 is 40 minus 40 minus 60 that is minus 100 so here minus 100 will come now cofactor of third uh, second row and third column so in that case this this cancel 9 to j 18 and 6 3 j 18 18 minus 18 is 0 so we will write here 0 
now third row and first column so that cancel and this cancel 5 3 is a 15 and plus 60 that is 75 so it will come 75 now second row third row and second column this this cancel 5 to the 10 minus 40 10 minus 40 is minus 30 and minus 30 sign will change so it would be plus 30 and the last one is uh, this cancel and this cancel 6 to the 12 minus 12 and minus 12 minus 24 minus 24 will come right let me check if uh, there is any mistake minus 12 minus 12 okay so minus 12 minus 12 6 is the only negative coefficient the rest of them are positive only right now mm, 6 is only negative and rest of them are positive okay no problem so we will write that now a inverse is equal to therefore a inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant of a into a joint of a that will be 1 upon 1200 into this will come 75 150 and 75 isn't it 150 and 75 110 minus 130 72 0 and minus 24 that will come now from fourth x is equal to a inverse b and therefore we can write here x y z is equal to uh, 1 by 1200 can be taken outside and uh, this was 75 150 and 75 110 minus 130 and 72 0 and minus 24 and multiply by what to the x b b was 4 1 and 2 so we can write here 1 by 1200 and this will be first row first column 75 multiply by 4 is 300 plus 150 and plus 150 now 110 multiply by 4 is 440 minus 100 plus 120 and 72 multiply by 4 is 74 to the 8 and 7 4 is 28 288 and 0 multiply by 1 is 0 and 2 multiply by this is minus 48 so the things will come like 1 by 1200 into uh, 300 and 300 is 600 this is a uh, 320 40 minus 3 minus 1 220 220 i think so no that will be uh, sorry it will be here it will be 60 only because uh, 110 multiply by 4 is 440 100 minus 100 multiply by 1 is minus 100 and 32 is 60 only so in that case this will be 500 minus 100 that will be 400 and 288 minus 48 is 240 so if we divide them by this then what will happen this will be 1 by 2 1 by 3 and 1 by 5 so x x not this was x y z but this was pqr it was pqr i have assumed it this was pqr pqr so here pqr is p is 1 by therefore this was pqr y there so therefore p is equal to what will happen therefore p is equal to p is equal to 1 by 2 and p is nothing else but 1 by x is equal to 1 by 2 and therefore x is equal to 2 q is 1 by 3 and q is nothing else but 1 by y that is 1 by 3 so y is equal to 3 and r is 1 by 5 that is 1 by z is equal to 1 by 5 and this implies z is equal to 5 and that will be the answer of this question so i hope you got it 
right now the next uh, question is one more question is there a b c are in a p then let us see question number 17 it is given if a b c are in a p then the determinant determinant what is given here determinant is given x plus 2 x plus 3 and x plus 2a so x plus 3 x plus 4 and x plus 2b and that will be x plus 4 x plus 5 and x plus 2c is age what will be that that will be 0 how is that let me explain this if i write uh, proceed c1 r1 plus r3 minus twice of r2 r1 tends to i can write here if you write here r1 tends to r1 tends to r1 plus r3 minus twice of r2 then the first row will be 0 0 0 and therefore value will be 0 why a b c are in a p so a plus c g minus twice of b is equal to 0 and that will come here so definitely you got it so 17 will be 0 you can do that a b c are in a p so a plus c since a b c are in a p and therefore since a plus c is equal to twice of b so a plus c minus twice of b is equal to 0 now the next question is a uh, few more questions are given in terms of objective and uh, this was uh, non-zero real numbers then the inverse of matrix that is the eg question and i hope you will do that so remaining questions are quite easy and uh, that is the objective type so definitely you will be able to solve them it is not a big deal after doing this much number of questions uh, you will be able to understand each and every concept but uh, if you are not able to understand this then please uh, revise this again and again see this video again and again because uh, time limit is there so i am a bit faster uh, usually and uh, if you uh, do it again see it again pause rewind and review and definitely you'll be able to get all those uh, answers and definitely you'll be able to understand it so hopefully i you will do that and uh, this is all about the matrix and determinant it has been completed now uh, in matrices there is some easy exercise are there which uh, has been covered by you i think so so definitely i am not going to discuss them so here this was the complete lecture in matrix and determinant and uh, hopefully you have enjoyed it although ye pakao topic hai thoda sa is बहुत कैलकुलेशन रहती है और कैलकुलेशन की वजह से बच्चे जो हैं वो थोड़े से परेशान रहते हैं 2 into 3 3 into 4 and 4 into 5 like that तो ये करते जो है वो टाइम बहुत लग जाता है और बच्चे परेशान हो जाते हैं बट ऐसी कोई बात नहीं है ये चैप्टर आसान है आप आसानी से कर सकते हैं और एक काम और कर सकते हैं कि आप इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब जरूर करें और अपने दोस्तों को भी बताएं कि ये बड़ा ही सुंदर है चैनल और इसमें बहुत सारी चीजें हैं और आप सब लोग अपने एंजॉय करें अपनी पढ़ाई लिखाई करें अच्छे नंबर लाएं कोई डाउट हो तो जरूर हमें कमेंट में लिखें या हमें मेल कर सकते हैं arvindsingacademy@gmail.com पर और या व्हाट्सएप के जरिए भी भेज सकते हैं इंस्टीट्यूट का नंबर आपके पास है डबल नाइन ट्रिपल नाइन जीरो सिक्स फोर डबल जीरो हम डेफिनेटली आपकी मदद करेंगे और हम लोग सॉल्व करेंगे एक और बात कि हमने एक कोर्स लॉन्च किया है वीडियो क्लासेस जो कोरोना आउट ब्रेक की वजह से और ये कोर्स आप घर बैठे अपने मोबाइल ऐप के जरिए देख सकते हैं इसमें हम लोग वीडियो के अलावा इसमें क्लास नोट्स और स्टडी मटेरियल्स और टेस्ट पेपर्स ऑनलाइन टेस्ट पेपर्स और ये सब सुविधा दे रहे हैं प्लस डाउट एंड डिस्कशन के लिए पर्सनल डाउट एंड डिस्कशन के लिए लाइव वीडियो चैट या व्हाट्सएप के जरिए प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करने की फैसिलिटी दे रहे हैं तो आप इस कोर्स को खरीद लीजिए अगर आप आई टी में सक्सेस होना चाहते हैं तो डेफिनेटली ये आपके लिए बहुत सुनहरा मौका होगा 
और हमारे इंस्टीट्यूट से तो लगातार रिजल्ट होते रहे हैं और हम आपको और इससे ज्यादा क्या कहें प्रत्यक्ष को प्रमाण की जरूरत नहीं है सो डेफिनेटली वी आर वन ऑफ द बेस्ट एंड आवर स्टडी मटेरियल इज वेरी सिस्टमेटिकली डिजाइंड बाई एक्सपर्ट टीचर्स ऑफ द कंट्री सो यू विल गेट ऑल दो स्टडी मटेरियल एज वेल एज क्लास नोट वट आई एम टीचिंग हेयर दैट विल बी ऑल्सो अवेलेबल इन पी डी एफ फॉर्म इन माई ऐप एंड सम डिफरेंट क्लास नोट्स आर ऑल्सो देयर सो यू विल इंजॉय दिस एंड डेफिनेटली विल गेट प्रिपेयर फॉर जेई मैन एक्जाम एज वेल एज एडवांस सो थैंक यू वेरी मच गॉड ब्लेस यू कीप वॉचिंग